Hey guys, it's Sean, and welcome to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3, 2023's Game of the Year. Now, you may be wondering why I'm starting up this playthrough. I'll be happy to briefly tell you what happened. So, I recently did a charity stream. We raised $55,000 for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation, if you must know. <laughs> uh, and for the $40,000 reward, uh, stream chat got to vote on any game for me to play through. Uh, didn't matter how long it was, didn't matter if I had played it before, um, any game I would play through, I would honor the results of the poll. And uh, the landslide results, I should have seen it coming, were for Baldur's Gate 3. So here we are with Baldur's Gate 3, Part 1, on January 1st, 2024. want to give some quick background, because it's a little awkward I'm doing this. Because I actually had a save file that I was working through. Um, I was about six hours into the game, so nothing at all in the grand scheme of things. But uh, I was working my way through it, and now I will be starting a new file. I thought about making you guys suffer through me being like, let's just jump into my file already in progress. But I knew that wouldn't be fair. So we're starting over, fresh, with a new playthrough, because I know there's going to be people out there that haven't seen this game. If you're wondering what Baldur's Gate 3 is, um, well... I'm probably not the best person to describe it. I think it's technically a tactical RPG. It's a turn-based RPG, very similar to like, like a tabletop Dungeons and Dragons experience, but it's, uh, well, it's a video game, and not a lot of fantasy video games are able to properly tap into that D&D style experience, but there's dice rolls, there's, you know, a lot of like stat checks and things like that. I'm not a D&D &D guy, if you can't tell by how I'm describing it. But uh, it follows a, a ragtag group of um, fantasy warriors and mages and, and the like as they uh, travel the land and find adventure. We'll just say that. Um, and it's it, like I said, it won Game of the Year for 2023. So if you're curious about it, if you've never seen it before, uh, I think this will be a great way to check it out. Because I will not be pretentious about the game in any way. Uh, I, I do appreciate Larian Studios' work. I did play their previous game, Divinity Original Sin 2, and I actually did play a bit of Baldur's Gate 2 about 20 years ago, when it was a newer game. And um, I wasn't quite gamer enough for it at the time, I was very casual. As you can see by my Banjo-Kazooie hoodie, this is the type of stuff I was playing back then. Um, and then just, I heard Baldur's Gate 2 was good, so I hopped into it. I didn't know what I was doing. I found it to be really complicated, but I did appreciate the detail and depth that went into the game. And I went to the, I came to the realization like, oh, this is like, this is like a real game. This is like a serious video game. And uh, I was like, it's not for me right now, but I'll come back to it someday. I can't wait to come back to Baldur's Gate 2 and properly appreciate it, is what I always said. Well, 20 years have passed and now I am here with uh, Baldur's Gate 3. And with that said, um, I'm not very good at these type of games. Um, I'm not very good at Orig Divinity Original Sin. I wasn't good at BG2. I'm probably not going to be good at BG3. So, just putting that out there, you know, if you're the type of person that has played this not once, not twice, not three times, but five times or more, you're going to be frustrated with uh, how I play. And I would just ask that you um, be patient and keep comments to yourself. And maybe if you're not having fun by like, Part 17, it's okay to stop watching. Uh, you can leave mean comments if you want, insulting how I play the game or decisions that I make, but I will probably immediately ban you, and so that will be the hill that you will forever die on. So just, you know, try to decide if it's worth it to incessantly backseat me about something. With that said, I am open to getting feedback from people on, um, you know, advice on things, as long as they're not spoilers, you know, if there's something, if there's like a mechanic that I'm struggling to understand, feel free to explain it very nicely in the comments. Um, I'm going to be treating this similarly to, say, my Bloodborne playthrough, if you've seen that, um, which I, I continue to get compliments about to this day because I, you know, I was really open about feedback on that series and I wanted to appreciate and explore as much as possible. With that said, I'm not going to be 100%ing the game, obviously. Won't be doing all the side quests, won't be... Um, exploring every nook and cranny. I'll be doing mostly main quests, but if there's a side quest that excites me or, or interests me or has a character that I like in it, I'll probably go for it. But we're not going to be sitting here at part 417 in 2024 still playing this. We got too much stuff to get to this year. 
With that said, oh. Okay, well. I, they hold that note for way longer. Uh, for way longer than I think they will. See, I know, I, I played enough to be able to hear this annoying music on the main menu. I don't like it, personally. At least not the intro. This part's okay. We're gonna be starting a new game, though. Uh, so, I believe it starts with a cutscene. So we'll go ahead and get into that and I'll shut up now. I've been talking for like five straight minutes. So we'll be playing on Balanced because it's my first playthrough and I don't feel like doing anything uh, complicated, like tactician. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't like that. Don't do that to me. I don't need to get immersed in this now. Oh boy. All right, so now we're going to Oh, well, I'm, I'm about to tell you, I guess. All right, so now we're going to um, create create a character, and I'm probably just gonna cut through this because we want to get into the story. But um, let's let's say priority number one is that she's gotta be hot. <laughs> so I'll be getting to that. All right, I'm satisfied with this. I think this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and proceed. Oh no, the character name. Okay, uh, well, real quick. So I'm a, I'm a half elf barbarian. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a basic bitch, pretty much. I've got a spell, and my cantrips, which, so I think I think cantrips are like abilities that you always have that like, no matter what you have it. Now I don't know how I feel about having an int uh, intel intellect based. Uh, like base ability, but because like I'm a barbarian, so it's not really gonna be something I'm gonna be able to take much advantage of. And I realize that, but I don't know. I like how the half elf looks. Uh, <laughs> that's right, I'm Tav. Uh, what what will the character's name be? Um, I'm so bad at coming up with names. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. I, ha I have no idea. <laughs> there we go. Half near idea. <laughs> half near idea. I don't know. Half near. I don't know. Who gives a crap, man? I'm so bad at coming up with these names. You got you guys out there that fashion yourselves as fantasy writers. Just so you know, your names ain't all that great either. Okay? They're always uh, wait. Isn't Hafnir an Elden Ring character? Okay, maybe not that one then. I thought it'd be funny to, to make like a pun out of it. A Hafnir idea. What to name them? Um, let's see, what will be... Okay, bar, what's a barbarian sounding name? Barber, bar... bar <laughs> 
Uh, something strong. It's maybe something... Uh, something like, like, that sounds very brutish. What, what's a, what's an intimidating sounding name? Um, I'm going to use the, the, I'm going to use the letters ong because it rhymes with strong. Um, when in doubt, you could just add IR to the end of something. Ongir, that's our name. On, on, girna. That works. How do people come up with these names, bro? And, that, and also, it wasn't half near, half near idea. You know what? That's what it's gonna be. Half near, half neared, half neardia, half neardia. That's it. What's your character's name? I half neardia. Okay. You know a what? A guardian. Um. So do I want a a drow? A tiefling, a human, a human, no way, dude. Or another half elf, like a, just like me, a half orc. So what, what, what is the guardian going to be doing for me exactly? Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing the guardian's going to like, give me some kind of advice or something, or try to steer me along the right path. So. Who, who would I, I be most comfortable ignoring? Probably, probably some human, right? Yeah, okay. All right, Goldilocks. Let's just venture forth. I heard the Wilhelm scream. Now, okay, so they... They're getting, they're like kidnapping people into their ship instantly, but we were already on the ship. That seems overpowered to just be able to do that.
poor dragons are getting cold. I guess they can't breathe fire, so they can just warm themselves back up, but whatever. Watch out, guys. So, my head. should I go up to this corner? I guess this is like the best corner to be in. <clears throat> so, um, right. Now, again, if you're not familiar with this style of game, uh, you may be looking at this and your eyes might be glazing over right now. Like, what am I looking at, right? There's so many buttons. Uh, and I'm right there with you. So, if you thought I was going to assuage your fears or anything, nope, that's just how it is. Now, one cool thing about this game... You can move around this overhead um, camera, but and I, I haven't really seen this it, it done like this before. Um, let's see, I think, yeah, yeah, middle mouse button is to move around. But it's not just overhead. If you don't like the overhead camera, you can zoom in, and then it becomes, it becomes like a third person game. You still have to click to move around, but you know. So that's pretty neat. I always thought that was, I always thought that was cool. Oh, uh, like, since the beginning of time. Okay. It said when Shar walks upon the earth, she leaves a path of onyx behind her. So this is a... This is a mind flayer. Good. This is the guy that infected us with that thing. Uh, whatever that thing was. Not getting back in that thing. Oh, I wasn't asking you to, but... Alright. Alright, let's, uh... Walk around, I guess. Here we go. Sphincter. Ugh. Now, uh, you may notice in the upper right we've got the mini map. So if you're having uh, trouble watching, following along with what's happening, um, in terms of like where we are in the structure of the building we're in, that's that's where we are. Down here is our health. Fourteen. Sorry, I saw I saw our name half near Dia and I laughed. Um, can build. Build, build, bring up um, our equipment, which uh, somehow we have health potions already, a scroll of Revivify to revive a companion, as well as a couple of basic hand axes, but we're not using those. What we've got is a great axe because we're a barbarian and uh, we don't need no stinking tactics. We just need to hit stuff. Got a keychain, alchemy pouch, camp supply sack. And, and the bit of onyx that I just filched off of that guy. Now down here is uh, our, our carrying weight. Right now we're at 11.5 out of 210. And the more stuff you have in your inventory that weighs more, uh, the more you'll be um, encumbered by it. Thank you for the gold. Who, who's we? What's happening? We are here. Neural apparatus. Oh. Oh, okay. Very well. Hello. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please, before they return. See, I succeeded a perception check. 
Uh, who am I talking to? A man or a brain? Look, I'd look so disgusted. You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. Hmm. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You oh, you know what I just realized? Like this. Save fail. One that is more brain than person. Okay. Hang on one sec. Uh, I just realized that it's not capturing the cursor. There we go. So now you can see my cursor. So the couple of times that I was like, look at this over here, and I didn't have the cursor on, you probably were like, what are we looking at? I think you're past the point of saving. Tell them, tell me what to do. Or destroy the brain. Let's go. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Uh, okay, sure. So we can inspect the exposed brain that uses investigation, break the skull with strength, dexterity, gently pries the brain from the skull. Break, well, can we break the skull? I mean, like, let's do strength, because we're, we're a barbarian, right? Some dialogue options require a skill check, a dice roll that must meet or exceed a target number. Your character's skill adds a bonus to this roll. Okay, so we've got plus three to the roll from our strength stat, because we're really strong. We not only get plus three to strength checks, we get plus five to saving throws. Plus two from proficiency? Okay. All right, so um, we're trying to get a 10 or higher. Okay, we got a 10 plus three, that's 13. I can do math. <gasps> Shukshash. Ow, that seems like that hurt the brain thing. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Um, spare the creature. There's no reason to do that, I think. Our freedom is ours, friend. The That's right, friends. Listening, something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Um, what's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Alright. Sure. Why not? To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in our party. Look, they've got 11 health. Okay. Now, here's the time to find when, uh, where my camera is best suited. Down here? Because I'm not really covering anything up here, am I? There's like a combat log, but that's okay. If I'm up here, then I'm covering the mini-map. If I'm up here, then I'm covering like skill checks and tutorials and stuff like that. Um, so, I think I'll go down here. I know it's like, it's like, I don't know, kind of awkward, right? Um, if you must know, the only thing I'm covering up over here is the combat log, which we won't be needing, I don't think. And um, we can go to the camp and resting menu, so that, that's it. I think this is the best uh, place for me to be. All right. Ooh. Let's loot him. He has nothing. Really? Take all. He has nothing. All right. So uh, let's go down with the neural apparatus. Oh. Uh, you coming with? Oh, okay, nice. Okay, wait, there's something over here. An Eldritch Tablet. So what is this? A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more. Flash behind your eyes. Wow. And I guess we have no takeaways from that. A thousand years of history and not a single moral lesson. 
Oh. No. Don't kill me this early. Abomination. This is your end. Wow, your quick game. And your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. Blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Uh, so I'm guessing a thrall is like a. I don't know. I'm not a big fancy guy. I like Lord of the Rings, but as far as D and D goes, I guess I'm pretty ignorant. I guess like a mindless zombie type thing that's being controlled by the mind flayers. In this instance. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. All right. Uh, no need to have an attitude. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geek. Mind flayers. Oh, really? We're turning into mind flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Okay, how do you know so much about this? Very knowledgeable, Lazel, or whatever your name is. My thoughts exactly. All right, our first fight. Here we go. Combat! Get ready to fight. Combat happens in rounds, and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses around you during contact, or combat. Okay, so if you look at the top here, the brain thing goes first, and then Lazel, and then Hafnerdia, and then the three imps. So this is the turn order at the top. Um, so we get to decide how the brain thing is going to work. So, um, if you're not familiar with the system, basically, uh, you have a set amount of space that you can travel. You may see that the path goes from white to red there. Uh, that means that the, the red space is the area that you can't travel in one turn. So you can only travel up to the white area in one turn. And then you get, um, in addition to your movement action, you can attack as well. So I can run up and attack one of these guys. And uh, that 90% I think is chance to hit uh, with this ability, Claws, right here, which is four to 10 damage. There's a lot of random stuff in, in games like this. Um, I'm not, I don't really have like a great handle on how all of it works, but this imp has six health. So chances are good we're gonna kill it with one claw. All right, we did it. And now um, we can move it a, like even more up to its maximum movement, and then we'll end the turn. Fury. I am death. All right, so Lazel here uh, has a few abilities. Let's see. Pommel Strike. Make a non-lethal attack against an enemy and possibly daze them, but it only does one to four damage. Rush attack is four to seven damage. Charge forward and attack the first enemy in your way. Lacerate four to 13 damage. I mean, almost any of these are just gonna kill these guys. They've only got six health. I think we just do a basic attack, just four to 13 damage. We can just... Let my name be known. There we go. And we got 10 XP for that. XP is how you level up, how you get your stats higher, you know, that sort of thing. When you're finished, click the button in the right corner of your hop bar to end the turn. Or you can hit spacebar. Oh, hitting spacebar is way better. Let's go. 
Not enough movement. Really. Not enough movement to, to hit this last imp. So, let's use our firebolt. I missed! Now, the firebolt is our cantrip. So, um... It means that we can use it as many times as we want to, basically, because it, it comes with being a half-elf. I think. It's like... I don't know. I think it's a weird name for Watch it, my feet. but it's like a D&D &D thing, right? Let's end the turn. So we didn't kill all three of the imps. Okay, you also missed. The brain thing is going to come kill you now. All right. And then we got 10 XP. Nice. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Wow. Now, Some allies can help. join you on your adventure. You can control them the same way as you do your own character. Click a companion's portrait to take control of them. So, if we want to, we can play as Lazelle. We don't have to play as the character we painstakingly created. Can't give up now. Uh, but I would love to do just that. Let's check uh, the imps. Now, a lot of times, the enemies will have, like, items on them. Uh, most of the time, they're trash. And honestly, I hate picking up a bunch of trash and, like, offloading it at a merchant somewhere. But I think that's kind of the general idea of what you're supposed to do. So, like, we can take that and we can just sell it later. Same with this light crossbow. Right? So, it's it seems like it's in our best interest to just take anything, even though they're not worth much. See, now, this is a thrall. He had some gold on him. Thank you. Let's check, uh, check this imp over here. See, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take everything I, I come across. Oh, wow. We're gonna take all on this one. What was this guy's name? Oh, he has like a portrait. He doesn't have a name though. It's just a dead thrall. All right. There's another dead thrall here. Then some uh, gold. Okay. Oh, saving. What this does. Going into the sphincter here. Gave machinery. I can make no sense of it. Sacrificed cultist. Man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. About to become a thrall, perhaps. Um, touch this, or touch this. Push. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Okay. Oh. The machine made them hostile. The machine made them hostile. We can have this one. Oh, provokes attack of opportunity. Okay, so uh, if you don't know what an attack of opportunity is, basically it's when you like see this uh, this guy. Well, I'm I'm like pointing at him, but this guy right here, he's got a little sword next to him. Uh, basically, if you pass by an opposing unit, they could get a free attack on you while you're passing. So it's in your best interest to not try and zoom past enemies like that. Okay, this guy, is this, is it just this guy? Let me see if I can do a ranged attack. Okay, it only did three. Sometimes the only way out is through. Not enough movement. How much, they've got five HP. I'm gonna try the firebolt again. 60%? Okay, wait. Maybe if I can. Don't slow down. Is it any better here? No, there isn't. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, she's got like one health. Are you kidding me? No! Leave my little brain guy alone. How dare you? Die. We got some uh, XP from that. Now we can loot them. I am not gonna take the mug because it's worth like pretty much nothing. There's a lot of junk in, in these games. It's like bronze necklace. I mean, I don't know. That's probably worth more than a mug, right? Wonder They're probably the worth the same amount. Me. Wait, what's going here? You! Get me out of this, Jamsy! 
We have no time for stragglers. Oh, like you? Look for a latch that might open the lid. There's no time we need to get out of here. I'll go look around. Grip the pod's lid and pull. We're a barbarian. All right. Time to brute force this. Oh. Oh, this look, look at her face. Crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? We can figure it out, dude. Um, don't give up. Tear this thing open. Yeah, let's use our strength. Okay, so we just need to get a 10. I've got plus three. Critical failure! No! <laughs> well, I'm a terrible barbarian! You can't force it that way! Try something else! Go look around! Anything! Please! Oh, well, we'll get you out of there. You're a baddie. Alright. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pot. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! Oh, this thing. Oh! Wait, did I just get shocked? Is dormant. Uh, look for a switch. Hit it? Just hit it. We're Nothing. a barbarian. Thump. The console remains dormant. Oh, okay. Um. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. An empty socket. So we're supposed to put something in it? Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Ow, look at me. I'm like shocked. Four turns remaining. Cannot take reactions and has disadvantage on ability checks and saving throws. What's in this backpack? Malachite? Okay. Uh. No, we already looked at these guys. Now, do you think... Come on! Get me out of this thing! Do you got any ideas? Okay. Keep looking! I actually don't know what to do here because... In my, in my original save file when I did this, I just, like, forced it open with strength. Um, but apparently... That's not what you do here. Dark mind. What is all this? Dark mind. Do we take that? A brain in a jar. Oh, is that what we insert here? console appears dormant. The mechanisms oh, is that not... are completely unrecognizable at first. That's an empty... Okay, I'm guessing the brain in the jar is not what we use the empty socket for. Uh, maybe we go... S Bro, I'm, I'm trying to find you. Or, or fi find something to help you, rather. Is what I meant to say. Ooh, let's check this dead thrall for something. Ah, a gold key! Oh, ho, ho. let's take a look. What is this? Uh, where, where is it? I have so many. Okay. It's just a gold key. So is that? Oh my gosh. Do we use the gold key? This is going to be a long playthrough, isn't it? He doesn't even know the how to open the Mind Flare dormant. pod. Guys. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. I'm just going to need... Spy an empty... I'm just going to need, like, slightly more information than there's an empty socket. How big, how big is the socket? Wait, there's two of those guys? How big is the socket? Is there... Something that, that fits inside there? This gay infect dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of crazy. Let's Let check over look. here. He's got gold. Eldritch Rune. Uh, a component of a bigger like machine. A controls next to the pod. That'll do it. Let's take another one of these slave mines. Oh, and two potions of healing. Hell yes. Okay. Okay, so that's all we had to do. Again, some sort of information about the empty socket would have been appreciated. Like I said, this is gonna be a long playthrough. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a long playthrough, no matter what. The console appears dormant. Okay, insert the rune to the socket. 
I'm so smart. I solved the puzzle. Okay. Place your hand on the console. Take a closer look at the power up console. Might as well. Okay, now our, our con, we have minus one intelligence. We're not very smart. Um, we need to get a 10. So let's just hope we get 11 or higher. Yes! Critical success! We're so smart, actually. And organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Thank you for your exhaustive analysis. Really grateful for your insight into the situation. I rolled a 20. That's all you got for me? Well, it looks like it might do something. Hey, it kind of looks like it's a living organism. All the pulsing flesh seems to indicate so. All right, let's just do it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. No. Then discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Ignore. Will the pod to open? How much wisdom do I have? Is there a way to like see my stats? Illithid. Yeah. Sure, let's try it. I'm down to try any. Oh, the difficulty is two, bro. Oh my god, we almost failed it. There we go, talking trash. It was only two. Imagine failing this one. I almost did it. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And yield to it. Well, that's interesting. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Yay, we freed the baddie. Let's talk to her. At last. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. Oh. You keep dangerous company. Oh, she's racist. <laughs> no, the baddie is racist. Okay. Uh, I got a problem with. I don't even know. Gith Yankee? Gith, Gith Yankee is probably how you pronounce it. Uh, well, actually, we could just, you know what? We could just pretend that this is Thanksgiving dinner and we'll just change the subject. <laughs> I don't really feel like confronting you about your racism right now. Let's just, you know what? Hey, how's the weather today? I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. I need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Okay. Uh, all right then. Let's get going. I'm half near idea. Shadowheart. One moment. Shadowheart. You sound like a Reaper player from Overwatch. Shadowheart six 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 x x x. Uh, wait. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. What do you just this chatter? We need to get to the helm now. She's right. Lead on. Oh, uh, okay. So you're not that racist. You agreed with her. <laughs> hey, listen, she might be a little bit racist, but she's not that racist. See, she she agreed. She agreed with the uh, Lazel. Okay. See, she's not so bad. Okay, let's go in here. Um, what's this? I feel. Better. We're nearing the helm. Oh. Once inside, do as I say. Who okay. put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Oh. King Yank. Whoa, what's that? Was that like a slur or something? We, we don't even know her language. Okay, let's go inside. The speaker. It's ladies night, y'all. Time for some femdom. Oh no! Ah, it's me, a mind flare. 
So wait, so the imps are attacking the mind flayer? Oh, there's, oh, there's two of them. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. You wait. Do am it. I a thrall? We will deal with the geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Whoa, we got a fight. Commander Zalk. Okay. Well, we just oh, wow. Critical miss. You're bad. You're a different kind of baddie. And these hells bore have like eight health um okay let's see so there's a couple lesser imps there's the mind flayer who has 85 hp by the way and is level eight and then there's commander zalk who's 150 hp so why are they fighting aren't they on the same ship trouble in paradise or okay yeah, let's take a look around so there's a couple of dead thralls Intellect Devourer. Oh, that's the little brain guy that we got. All right, brain guy. Now see if I go and try to attack this imp, I'll get an attack of opportunity from the boar. So I'm gonna attack the boar first. Um, I wish I could attack twice. Oh wow. No, half nudia. Impact is imminent. I must connect the helm. All right, all right. Let's see. Oh, there's fire right there. We don't want to walk through the fire. There's like environmental, you know. Okay, let's swap to main hand attack. And we'll just walk up and hit this guy. Bam! Nice, three XP for us. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have her move as far as she can. Forward, Shadow Heart. Now Shadow Heart, also has fire bolts, but now if we look at, Can't give up. They're, a, they're a cleric, it looks like. Okay, can we look at their stats somewhere? Is it character sheet? So now she has 17 wisdom. Oh, very wise is she. 10 intellect, okay. I was kind of expecting higher intellect. Eight charisma, that makes sense. How much charisma do I have? Wait, before I roast eight charisma. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's lower than me, 10. How many, how much do you have? Eight. <laughs> look there, look, here's our relationship. Character has no strong feelings toward Avatar. Well, we're gonna change that. Um, do you think you could just walk up and, and hit him? You missed! Shadow Heart! Oh. Oh no, they got an attack of opportunity, but they missed. It's okay, they're bad. Survival is all that matters. Okay, let's walk up and now nah, we can hit this thing. Boom, one hit. Ooh, let's actually, the Hellbor has nothing. Can't reach it, okay. 15 turns remaining, by the way. That's plenty of time. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, Q and E rotates. Got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna have them move as far up as they can. Oh, there's really just one more amp. Okay, so so Lazel, 85 percent. Yeah, let's let's see if we can just hit him. Oh, three damage. Okay. On the move. Let's just go as far up as we can. Talk to me. And uh wait, what is this thing? You can attack this. Should I attack it? No Fine. Attack. What? This entity was vulnerable to your attack and took double damage. What happened? It just like exploded grape jelly everywhere. Sure, I'll take a short sword. Why not? Okay. Stay idle. Uh, we got plenty of time for this. Wow, these things have nothing, huh? Nothing. Oh, leather armor. That's actually okay. That's actually better than the barbarian clothes I have. I'll take that stuff, and I'll take this stuff. It's just all junk, isn't it? 
Um, let's go as far forward as we can. Okay. We've only got 14 turns remaining. Who is, who's, who is he talking about? Whose corpse is? Let's go as far as we can to the grape jelly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what a bad time to re receive a package. Okay. You missed. Oh, what an idiot. Okay. Uh, let's hit him again with the arrow. Two damage? Okay, let's just... What lies within? Yeah, I'll take that. Sure. Fast. You know what? You. Just, just hit it, please. Thank you, Shadowheart. Oh, boy. Check out the Mind Flayer here. Ooh, Amethyst. Now, let's see, that's pretty good. Um, let's just go... Yeah. Let's try not to get hit by uh, Commander Zalk over here or whatever. I think he's going to kill this Mind Flayer. Um, I guess we'll just all start moving up. Because the helm is up here, right? Oh, my God. It's all the way up here. Are there any other enemies? Cambion, Mind Flare. Okay. It doesn't look like it. I'll just move up as... Oh! Okay, there's gotta be more enemies, right? Hurry! Before they strike! Oh, okay. Oh, okay, there's a couple... Couple imps. Let's move up... Here, and, um... Yeah. Eh, see? This. Okay, I'm gonna move Shadowheart up here. And let's see if we can do a 80% chance to hit. Kill! Nice! Okay, so we killed him. Or, or whatever they are. So much for peace. Um, now... Let's move no as please. far up as we can. Ah, oh, can't quite make it there. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't have anything. You're a lieutenant. What do you mean you don't have anything? Okay, we've got 11 more turns. Oh my, a hell's boar is coming to attack us. Tusk attack. Okay. So we got Lazel, you know what? Let's uh, swap you to main hand attack. 75% chance to hit. Um, and we do 4 to 13 damage on something that has 8 HP. You would think it would just die. 6. Now, if I try to leave... Okay. I can avoid an attack of opportunity. There we go. If I just move like that. Um, now Shadowheart, surely... Oh yeah, okay, I was about to say. Surely you can start Let's see moving. see what we have here. Okay, nothing, huh? Yeah, you're damn right I'm gonna loot all these guys, by the way. Blood comes easy these days. Okay, Mind Flayer. Ooh, see, Jade. Now we wouldn't have caught that otherwise. Um. What's in here? This guy's gotta have something. Cambion? Nothing! They're broke! Broke bitches! What about the uh, lesser imp? Dude, even the lesser imp had like a hand axe. You can't be serious, man. Hit nothing. No, leave half nerdia alone. Okay, so how are we doing? Dude, the mind flare only has 22 health left. You're low on hit points. Use a healing potion to recover. What, me? Oh, just because I've got 10 out of 14? Oh, on, on no way, dude. I'm not doing that. I will ascend. We'll be okay. Okay, let's see. Taste my fury. We can hit. <gasps> 10, okay, we killed it. Nice. Do you have anything? Of course not. Uh, and so now we go to the transponder. Which, that sounds like what Rachel thought that Chandler's job was on Friends during the trivia game. He's a trans monster! Do you think there's a, do you think there's much overlap between Friends trivia and Baldur's Gate 3 blind playthrough 
watchers because I don't I'm not sure that there is. Oh, Topaz. Okay. Heading there. If anybody's gonna be a broke bitch, it ain't gonna be me. Oh, we don't have enough. With haste. Okay. We're not quite there. One more turn. This poor guy. Wait, what? Reinforcements? These guys pulling up the rear. Come a little closer. They've got 82 health. Well, good thing. Good thing we're way far away from them. Okay. Um, does this thing need to use it? This creature can't activate the transponder. Well, then what are you here for? Okay, you know what? Let's go. Worth the cost. Let's have let's have us do it. Okay, we're the activating it. Transponder. You made it in time. Well, we had forever, frankly, so it's not that impressive. Dragon. Okay, you're telling me we didn't get any burns from that? That's crazy. Those things didn't get damaged at all either. She ends up making all these faces like <laughs> Like I work so hard but like to be like yeah she looks really good and then every cutscene she's like <laughs> It's like damn oh. I really I really should have just not cared as much maybe Oh, let's get immersed. Sorry. Now, oh, brother, look at the little goblins. Oh, shut up. Kill, kill. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Ugh. Well, we gotta check ourselves for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. It's funny, this is very, very similar to how Divinity Original Sin uh, 2 starts out. You have like the prisoner's collar, um, and you're on, you're on a, like a, basically a slave ship from what I remember. And then you break out, you know, you kill the, the slave traders, and you find yourself washed up ashore on a place, but you gotta get the prisoner's collar off because it's like preventing you from doing magic. And that's most of what Act 1 of that game is doing, is getting rid of that. So, it's interesting that they basically use the exact same scenario for Baldur's Gate 3. Of like, you're infected with uh, with a parasite, a tadpole, and it's going to turn you into a mind flayer. So you got to get rid of it. Anyway, unique items. Go to your personal chest and camp during a long rest to find some of your unique DLC items. Uh, 
Okay. I have DLC items. I don't know. I just I just got the game. Did I? Did I get a code for this game? I don't think I did. I don't know who in, who in their right mind would give me a code for this game. Oh yeah. <gasps> Shadow Heart, wake up, girl. Get your racist ass up. Oh, what's that thing? That's what she went back for. Wake her, reach for the artifact. No, 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 wake her up. Nah, it's none of our business what the artifact is. We'll find out eventually, we have our ways. You're alive, I'm alive. How is this possible? <laughs> I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. You know what? What happened to our gift friend? Oh, get ready for her to say something. Her to like spit out <laughs> some kind of opinion. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Oh, okay, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought you were gonna say. Um, we should look for her. She might be injured or worse. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, eh. and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Okay, we? You want to stay together? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Wow. All right. <laughs> no, this is where we part ways. What kind of monster would you have to be? One thing, just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past Shadowheart my approves. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I can think of a couple ways you could thank me. All right, so let's just get this out of the way. Um, pretty much, uh, pretty much everything I hear about Baldur's Gate Three is, um, is that it's a it's it's a very horny game. Uh, so it's it it's it's in my best interest to play like that, right? By the way, we got to level up. No, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be that bad. I promise. That's about uh, what I just said is really tame, and that's about as crazy it's gonna get health increased by nine so yeah level ups in these games are like crucial we went from 14 to 23 i'm used to like old school rpgs where like you know i don't know you go from like 14 health to maybe 17 from level one to level two or something like that but uh in this one yeah 14 to 23 that's huge. That's like a 70% increase or something like that. So we got class features, danger sense. You sense when things aren't as they should be. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws against traps, spells, and services. To gain this benefit, you can't be blinded or incapacitated. Oh, really? But then it's not really a danger sense, now is it? We gained a new action, reckless attack. Until your next turn, you have advantage on attack rolls. But enemies also have advantage against you. Okay. I see. That, I guess that's why it's reckless. Okay. Uh, we accept. I accept my level up. What's the other option that I decline it? All right. And Shadowheart has increased 10 to 17. Whew. Class features. Level 1 spell slot unlocked. You gain 1 level 1 spell slot, which are restored on a long rest. So what this means, I, I found this to be very annoying when I was playing on my previous save slot for six hours. Um, the spell slot system, basically, if you have a spell that uses up a level one spell slot, you can cast it like that one time or however many slots you have. And then when you run out of spell slots, you can't cast any more spells of that level until you do a long rest. Um, so I don't know, man. I, I feel like... I, I think I was playing incorrectly. I think I was playing wrong because I was just like every turn I was like you cast a spell and you cast a spell and and then like I would only get in like a couple fights before I'd be like nobody has any spells left. So maybe I guess I'm supposed to save them or maybe find equipment or abilities that give you more spell slots. I'm not really sure how you get more. I guess just by leveling up. 
Channel Divinity Charges 1. You gain the ability to channel Divine Energy starting with two effects. Turn Undead and an effect determined by your domain. Replenished by short or long rest. So in the game there's long rest, which you have to do by going back to your camp. And there's this whole sequence where like you formally all go back to camp. And it's like nighttime and everybody's in their pajamas and you have little chit chat gossip time. Uh, that's what the long rest is, and I think you use camp supplies for that. And short rests, I think you can just kind of snap your fingers and do, but you only get a couple per long rest. Like, I think you get two short rests per long rest. I don't know. We'll find out. Turn undead. Pray to turn all undead that can see you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Within three meters of the illusion, attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Okay. Uh, I accept your generous offer. All right. I'm, I'm holding down alt just so I can pick stuff up. Let's see, there's a dead, a dead fisher over here. He's got gold on him though. Intellect Devourer didn't have anything. Uh, there's a mangled fisher over here. Okay. Oh, perfumed letter. Oh, open inventory. We gotta read this letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky. But so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they've always they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love Anna. So your sigh. So where's Anna? Oh no, I'm gonna have to like deliver the letter to her. To get experience. That's probably what's gonna happen, right? Oh no, there's another mangled fish over here. This is Anna, is it? Oh no. He's got a fish. Camp supplies. Abducted commoner. Okay, so you just had a dagger on you? Oh my gosh, there's so many abducted commoners out here. Those wretched things. 29 gold? My man was rolling in it. Rich bastard. We're taking your gold. Intellect devourer. Okay, you have nothing. What? Oh, we're, oh, we're fighting. Oh, no. Now they hate us. They, they know that we're not thralls anymore. Oh my god, you traveled so far. Positioning is important. Range attacks from above are more likely to hit, while range attacks from below this hit less stealth. often. Best keep some distance, or this will be a short fight. Okay, um, I think we'll be okay. Do you want me to cast something? Another Let fight. me attack. Let's go. Okay, so I can cast Rage. Now, Rage is a class action. Deal two extra damage with melee and improvised weapons and throwing. Rage ends early if you don't attack an enemy or take damage each turn. You can't cast or concentrate on spells while raging. Um, and it lasts for 10 turns. So, let's see. We have two rage charges. So, we can use two, we can use rage twice per long rest. Okay. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do, should I do a regular attack? For It's got 12 HP, this one's got 10. So does Lacerate... Lacerate refreshes on short rest, it says. Constitution save, attack roll. Slash at your target's vital points to make it bleed. Let's just attack, let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, I just killed him. I just killed him. I wish I could attack you again. Now you can do other actions, like you can jump. Um, 
Like this, so if there's ever any gaps or something, we'll be jumping. I'm curious. Ah, it's kind of funny. Stay focused. Okay, now watch out. There's fire right here. We don't want to walk through the fire. Um, now this attack is only going to do two to seven damage. But let's just do it. These guys aren't aren't a big deal. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Well, he's gotta go. Oh no, I think I'm. I might be in range. No, I'm not. Nine damage. Shared initiative. Party members next to each other in the initiative order can act simultaneously. You can switch between them freely. Okay, that's what we've been doing. Okay. Let's see. Healing word. So this is... So, okay. This is a healing spell, and it takes up a level one spell slot, right? So, if we look... These are the spells that we can cast that take up a level one spell slot. And we've got three slots, I think? According to that? So, we can do stuff like Healing Word three total times. Let's just see what happens if we cast it ourselves. Okay, we got a nice plus seven heal, but then look, over here, we've lost one of our three level one spell slots. So you can't just sit there, you know, healing Nothing over and over and over again. Way. You have to be judicious with it. I think we can just get away with a, no like a mercy. regular attack here. <laughs> Eight damage, no! Oh, crap. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy, bro. Um, you know what? Going. I'll just move up. Can't even catch my breath. And <laughs> there we go. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Take a short rest to recover half your hit points and some other resources. Open rest menu. Initiate short rest. Where's the rest menu? Open rest menu. Oh, is it? Is it this? Okay, so here you go. Here, here. here. Um. Oh. It probably makes more sense for me to be here. So, let's see. There's a short rest. We have two available. You can restore 50% of your hit points. Warlocks restore their spell slots. Oh! Oh, but you have to be a warlock? So, we've got 84 out of 40 camp supplies. Go to camp and end the day. You can use camp supplies to regain hit points, spell slots, and short rest. Okay. Now, we could short rest right now, but I just don't really see the need to do that um to be honest something good here i hope let's check out the abducted nobleman here who has 48 gold the silver locket let's just take all of these bruh so this is one of those grape jelly canisters again oh there's a dead mind flare up here that's gonna be you stepped on a surface that could become dangerous if affected by elements like fire or lightning Ooh, a potion of speed spiked bulb Void bulb. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. If a mind flare's got it, it's gotta be good. Uh, basic poison, sure. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't have that. After all, why shouldn't I take it? Hmm. Oh, yeah, go down here, sorry. Uh, let's see, there's an intellect devourer here. Okay. They never have anything, do they? Belladonna. Oh, that's a, uh,. Yep, there's some plants. We can also grab grass if we want. Now, let's bring up the map. This is the map of your surroundings. So we started... Oh. We started over here. And, uh... So see this? This is like the playable area. And then the dark part's the unplayable area, I think. So we've been everywhere that we can be over here. And we went through the crashed ship. So, um... Wow. Anyway. Let's go this way. I'm just looking around. I don't really feel like picking plants. Not really my thing. Uh, not a big plant guy. To be honest, let's see, we can go up here. This isn't really... Hello, over here. Where? 
Oh. Hurry! I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Um, easily stand back. Kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh. Uh. Push yourself to your feet. I'm going to do a strength chest uh, ch check. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Okay. I thought it was going to be like three or something like that. If I can't push this guy off of me, I don't deserve to call myself a barbarian. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What? What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? I don't remember seeing you anywhere. So. <laughs> did I miss him? I, I missed him the first time too. First time I played through. You have it backwards. They snatched me up too. I'm not an idiot. I saw. So ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Um, it's the mind flare's worm. The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Glad to see we're all caught up now. I'm not going to say apology accepted. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Baldurian, introduce yourself. You're a Baldurian too. Am I? Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Control it? We need to get rid of it. You should travel with me, our odds are better together. I need to get moving, but you can shelter at my camp. We need to get rid of well, it. Yes, of course. But first things first. Okay. Yeah, I get you can travel with me, Astarian. Okay. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. I'm glad I seem useful right. to you. I accept. Oh my god. Lead on. We don't need to make a whole production out of it, buddy boy. Your party is shown on the side of your screen. The portraits show your character's health and condition. Drag the portraits apart to split the party. Don't touch me. I wouldn't dream of it, idiot. Okay, let's uh, level you up. 10 to 17. Oh, okay, so you're a wimp too, just like Shadowheart. No, no offense, Shadowheart. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Cunning action hide. Oh my god, these are the actions you unlock. I can hide. Hide from enemies by succeeding stealth checks. Stick to the dark and avoid enemy sight lines. Cunning action dash. Cunning action disengage. Retreat safely. Moving won't provoke opportunity attacks. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, that, that last one's good. Charisma 10. I don't know about that. Intelligence 13. Damn. Nothing for me to make fun of. I guess he's weak. Eight strength. Ha! As a barbarian. At least things have stayed interesting. That offends me. Alright, so was he really on this ship? I just didn't even I didn't even Moving see ahead. him, bro. 
Ba 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 ba. Let's go in here. There, a mind flare, and it's hurt. Let's kill it. Where is it? That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Oh. Best be careful. I was holding down Alt, and I didn't even see it. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Wait. Oh. Give in to the emotion. This isn't right. Step away. You should be furious. This isn't right. Um. You can't move. Can't oh, think. Oh no. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts, take advantage of the laps, break free. Well, our intelligence is kind of low, so I don't think we should go for that one. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Hmm. Close those eyes forever. Yeah, get him. Whoa, okay. A big stomp. Hey, 35 XP, Monster. what you got in you? Death is too good for it. Who said that? Shadowheart? Damn. She, she wanted to torture it in her little torture basement for weeks on end, apparently. Dead goblins. That's what I love Dead to goblins see. Over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. I know I can hit take all. By the way, if you're supply pack. Ooh, yeah, sure. Take all that. Now checking. Okay, so this is the map. Um, so we can go up the side here, I think. Should I go up this way? Da, da, da. Oh, there's like there's like fire right here. I'll have to walk through the fire. Um, you know, I bet I bet this goes around anyway. We don't need to walk through the fire. Shadowheart, don't walk through it. Don't walk through the fire, bro. What the hell is this What's thing? Well, I wouldn't know the first thing about doing anything with it. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Eh, I probably shouldn't touch it. Let's touch it. Touch the sigil. Let's see what it does. Ah. Ow. I didn't do this on my first playthrough, so... Gale. Slap the hand. Grab the hand and pull. Uh, yeah. You know what? We're strong. Gotta get a seven for this. Ah, no sweat. Okay, well. Good thing we got the modifier. That was close. That's it. Come on in, bud. Go on. Keep pulling. Just what we need. Another posh British man on our squad. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions? At magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nautiloid as well. Is that what it was called? The Nautiloid? You don't trust this man? Drop your, draw your, draw your weapon. He seems harmless so far. I mean, he's clearly an idiot. <laughs> and I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis 
and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Shadowheart's a Surgeon. cleric. Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Oh, nice most? save. No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Uh, no. My hands are better suited to less delicate pursuits. I can offer you a swift end, but I can't carry you. Uh, maybe we don't say, maybe we don't threaten him. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. Who is this we? How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you. For pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted you kindness, see, was I assure like, you. Yeah. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Level up! Yes? You've got 8 HP. We gotta fix that. 8 HP, bro. Wizard! You're a wizard, Harry. Okay, so wait, we gotta pick our spells. Class features spell uh, level one spell slot unlocked. Evocation savant learning evocation spells from scrolls costs half as much, becoming twenty five gold pieces per spell level. Okay. Sculpt spells create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against these spells and take no damage. Gain two spells. Okay. Choices pending. Oh, we get to choose. Oh my god, there's so many. Burning hands. Um, Chromatic orb. Ooh, it seems kind of crazy. 3 to 24 thunder damage. That's a huge range. Three to, it can do 3 damage or it can do 24. That's crazy. Blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. Disguise self. Expeditious retreat. Gain seven temporary hit points until long rest. That's a necromancy spell. Huh. And you can't stack them. Oh, I see. That was my first question. Is like, if I get two, two of these spells. What about that? Um, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't really... Matt, well, we gotta take Magic Missile. Come on. Shoot three magical darts, each dealing two to five force damage. They always hit their target. I like that. That's a classic. Enhanced Leap. Triple a creature's jumping distance. Ice Knife. Find Familiar. Summon a Familiar. A face spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. Let's take that. To or we can do Tasha's hideous laughter. Leave a creature prone with laughter. The creature must have an intelligence of five or more. Uh, yeah, let's do familiar and magic missile. Great job, Gale. You going. did it. Half near the. Should mind my step. Right. Um. So is this where we came from? Yeah. Okay. Rogue's more, so that's another plant that we can pick. I'm not really that interested, frankly. Chapel entrance. What kind of chapel? Oh, there's arguing in there. Oh yeah, there's, there's people arguing. Okay, um, I actually think that this is a pretty good spot to end part one we've been going for an hour and a half or so we've got a full party of four people now we've uh, we've exited the ship we're starting to explore our surroundings so and we're about to run into like our first um we're about to have our first encounter with people that are alive but not going to join the party so we'll start learning about um 
the world outside the ship. But yeah, hopefully uh, you all had a nice time watching the video, and um, if you want to see the next part and the subsequent parts, there's going to be a playlist in the description. Uh, if you're on TV or something, I'm sure you can figure out how to watch part two. I'm sure you can figure out the process. But uh, yeah, if you're on mobile or desktop, there's a, a playlist in the description, so you can just check out part two. It'll probably be in the recommended anyway. It might even autoplay to it. Who knows? But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Think critically.